As historical author Anthony Brandt has said, other things may change us, but we start and end with family. I've been picking the Commonwealth for 20 years, searching high and low at yard, estate sales, antique malls, thrift stores, junk shops, garages, and sometimes even barns for treasures I can pass on to new homes through eBay. But now as I watch my little ones growing up before my eyes, I find that my real treasures are right here with me every day. So join us as we pick, flip, and resell on our two eBay stores and in our two antique booths. kids and I for a while so I haven't been in for well over a week about two weeks so interested to go see what it looks like not taking too much today just gonna see what needs moved around and replaced and I might come back for a second trip say hey kids Hi. you ready to go help yeah. and we're gonna have um, Blue Ridge Granny and Blue Ridge Papa come help a little bit today too so we'll see you guys at the booth Today, Blue Ridge Pop on Blue Ridge Green. How's it look, Reagan? I made it. What are you helping with, Turner? Put the books in their spaces. I might have to put it on the top shelf. Oh. Other way. Lean it this oh. way. Like that. There you go. Okay. Where can I set this? Wherever you need to. Tagging, re-tagging. Marking a few things down the chairs, just mainly to get them out and get some space. But while I was gone, I'll say that Commonwealth Picker did a pretty good job. Right, Turner? Yep. And Reagan and Blue Ridge Papa are exploring. What are you guys doing? Looking. Are they working, Turner? Are they slacking on the job? Yeah. All right, keep working. Good job. Put some stuff up in this booth. Yep. You gonna help here too? Yes. Okay. Ready? Yep. Let's do some work. Let's see. That's some of the big things off the wall sold, the cathedral little hanging, so. Not sure that I'm super happy with how this looks right now, but we'll get something else and get it fixed. So we finished over at Needful Things. Um, that had quite a bit that had sold once I went downstairs and got our tickets. So I was really happy with that. Um, I'm happy how it looks. So, can't really tell here yet. Looks like a few things are missing here and there. But, Commonwealth Picker did a good job here too while we were gone. But now we have to put our special touches on, right, Reagan? Yeah. All right. We are working on the booth still, turning things to keys. He's Yeah, that's cool. Whoa. What's 
What's your favorite thing over here? Um, I like <laughs> you like Disney cars. Of course you do. All right, so we are finishing up here. They've both been big helpers with putting things where I asked them to, and Reagan's been working on tags for me. So we didn't really have too much to do. I rearranged some stuff and added some toys. It seems like toys are pretty big sellers, um, especially the 80s and 90s stuff. So anyway, thanks for joining us here. Um, later I'm going to go home and show you guys what sold from the booze within the last week or so. So we will talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Hi everybody. Blue Ridge Mama and Turner Man, our Spider Man, <laughs> here filling in for Commonwealth Picker for a little bit. Um, you saw us earlier. We went down to our two antique booths today to kind of rearrange and fill in some things where thankfully things had been bought. Um, we had been away a little while. We got to go on a nice trip to Aunt Connie's house, didn't we? So hi, Aunt Connie, if you're watching. Yeah. Our sweet aunt lives in beautiful Hilton Head, so we got a little getaway there with Blue Ridge Granny, and we had a good time, didn't we? Yeah. And Sissy got to go too. So yeah. it's nice to be back, and Commonwealth Picker did a great job with um, the booze. I was impressed when I went back that things looked pretty good so um i told you we'd come back and kind of go over what sold in the booze in the past week or so um the one in needful things is a little bit over a week but i will show you those too so in bell treasures um we sold both of the wooden cathedral type arches which i loved i had been looking for some for a really long time and I've looked in places like Hobby Lobby Michaels and thought about buying my own. But they're pretty pricey, you know, can go upwards of 60 even $80 depending on size. Of course, Commonwealth Picker comes home with two for $5 each. But um, these were just a wood stain finish. So I didn't paint them or anything because I figured someone could paint them whatever color they chose. So those were really pretty. Um, they sold for $30 each. So that was a nice little profit on that. Um, <laughs> Commonwealth Picker laughed at me though because I'm like, oh no, now my wall is ruined in the, <laughs> in the antique booth because it did look really pretty hanging up on the wall. But that's what we're there for is to sell things, not keep pretty things hanging on our wall. Anyway, um, three stickers. So I'm not sure if these are actually the big lot of decals that he had because we also have a box full of um, scrapbooking stickers so those were most of those in that box I had marked as a dollar so we sold three of those for a dollar a piece um, two DVDs for two fifty each so they must have been decent DVDs for daddy to mark them at two fifty yes. huh because a lot of those we have marked at a dollar we sold a jar of marbles, so um, Deals and Dives, whose uncle Steve found us some cute little decorative jars, and he let us have those, so thank you, Uncle Steve, Deals and Dives. We put some marbles in those, and that sold for three. We had a Eagle Claw lure box, so just an old vintage fishing lure box sold for a dollar fifty. Actually, we sold two of those. Yay! A dollar fifty each. Yes, yay! <laughs> um, we sold one vinyl record for a dollar and one for five, which I'm pretty sure that was um, Blue Ridge Granny's um, Willie Nelson album. Then we did sell one DVD that was a dollar. So that was a total sales of seventy six. 50. So we are happy and grateful for those sales. Um, we also have a little thing on here where Bell Treasures won silver for favorite antique store. So that's kind of cool and a little um, local voting 
voting thing. What are you doing? Are you oh. putting the camera on you? Yeah. Yeah, you're pretty cute. Do you want to get up? No. No? Okay, you're going to stick with me? Yes. Did you work really hard at the booth today? Yeah. You did, didn't you? You loaded up books, huh? Yeah. Okay. And also hats and... And you put some more um, fall decorations? Yeah, and I also did... um. Um, those camera things. The cameras, yes. You put a um, lot of little vintage cameras up for us. Okay, yep. so um, when we went in Needful Things today and I was leaving and talking to the owner, she's like, oh, do you want your tags? <laughs> and I'm like, sure. <laughs> I didn't comprehend what she was meaning, but they save all of the actual tags and give them back to us. She, um... Bell Treasures keeps everything digital and emails us, but Bell Treasures actually logs every little thing down in a book, and then they keep and give us these tags. So, um, and Needful Things, the big seller, which was surprising, was Tupperware. We sold so much Tupperware. It's crazy, huh, Turner? Yeah. So, we've got a $2 Tupperware cereal bowl with lid. And we sold one, two, three of those at $2 a piece. And all of this is stuff from yard sales that Commonwealth Picker is getting for, you know, 20 cent, 10 cent. <laughs> so, um, a vintage Tupperware orange bowl with lid for $3. Another cereal bowl for two and another cereal bowl for two. I didn't look at the dates on the ledger when these sold so I'm guessing somebody probably bought all of those in a set they bought a also a set of four Tupperware cups a yellow Tupperware bowl with a lid Yay. we sold a Tupperware pitcher for $4.75 and then when we were gone that week um, Commonwealth Picker took in another pitcher that sold for four as well. Um, we did have one little tag in here that's got a $2 book. This is the only one that shows books, but we did sell quite a few books. Um, they don't have a tag on them because we just write lightly in pencil on the inside cover. So we sold about six or seven books altogether. Um, let's see. Commonwealth Picker will make fun of Blue Ridge Mama for these two. These were two glass pumpkins for $5 each. He picked these up at a yard sale. I think he said he paid a dollar for both. And I thought they were the ugliest things I had ever seen in my life. But <laughs> the bottom stickers, they were originally from TJ Maxx for like 20 or something crazy. So it just goes to show that mommy isn't always right because somebody else out there liked those pumpkins. But I do find myself um, thinking that maybe I should branch out more because I always buy things that I like thinking, hey, if I like this then somebody else is going to like it. But apparently <laughs> people also like things that I think are really ugly. <laughs> um... We have a $9 camera, vintage camera, another Tupperware, yellow, all this says, I didn't have room on this tiny tag, all it says is yellow Tupperware, $3. A dream catcher for $1.50. And then I have this little paper that's got all the little tiny stickers from um, tiny little I do think this two dollar one was off of one Halloween ornament. The rest are all a dollar or a dollar fifty, so those were DVDs or CDs. So I did really pretty well with the DVDs and CDs in both booths. And these are not the most popular DVDs or CDs, but hey, people like what they like. Um, Blue Ridge Granny is also in our Needful Thing booths. Hey, Blue Ridge Granny. And she did really well in those, and she said she's having fun. So she sold um, several little Willow Tree figures that she had. A Willow Tree birthday girl for six. 
a willow tree grandfather that had um, the grandfather and the little grandson together for 18 so that was really good we did look those up on eBay first because she's going to start an eBay store soon um, but I just we priced them where someone would still be getting a good deal you know buying them at this price because you don't have to worry about shipping um, sold a little metal wreath that was like a grapevine wreath for five dollars and a I don't know if I'm selling this saying this right the leak shamrock bowl but a lot of that Belique shamrock items were selling on eBay for good prices but this bowl I couldn't find anything comparable um, that sold for nine dollars and that was the very first sale in the booth so good job Blue Ridge Granny and all of those items are just things she had in her house that were going to go to Goodwill and we were like come on and put some stuff in a booth and start your own store because she is newly retired happy retirement granny <laughs> and so it will be just a fun little side gig for her to um, earn a little bit extra so thanks for joining us today and walking around the booths with us right Turner man Yay! Yay! Also Spider-Man. Yes, you are Spider-Man. Um, and since I'm not on here often, I just wanted to say thanks to everybody out there who has supported the channel and helped it grow. And you guys that are liking and watching and subscribing, we just really, really appreciate it. It is just been fun for us. It's fun. I really enjoy watching the kids and everything they're learning, whether it is you know, watching me edit a video, watching daddy, um, price stuff, watching us, um, sell things on eBay and in the booth. It's just, I think so many good life lessons for them. So we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.